Over the last couple of weeks, a lot of you have asked me and Chris about what tech sales ascension is about. I wanted to make a video today, not only talking about how and why we structured the course the way that we did, but also in the second half of this video, we're going to give you a walkthrough of what it would look like if you're considering tech sales ascension and breaking into tech sales. I'm here with Chris, who's a co-creator of the course. He's currently a top performing SDR at a large public tech company. Chris also went through the process of breaking into tech sales about a year ago and has been a huge part of creating this course and adding a lot of perspective. And I just wanted to say before I hand it over to Chris, part of why I started this YouTube channel maybe a year and a half ago is because in my own company, coming from an engineering background, moving now to sales, I found that it was a lot different than a lot of the information I was seeing online, but also seeing a lot of people trying to break in themselves. We're taking very generic, non-related sales information and trying to apply that to a tech sales career. And we really took that in mind. That was a lot of the inspiration for not only the channel, but making this course. And Chris also lived this less than a year ago, breaking in himself. And he's here to talk more about his own experience and also how we decided to structure the course. I was going through this very same process about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Um, and I was evaluating tech sales. I was looking at various different companies, at job offers and whatnot. So I, I dipped my own toes into courses, boot camps, training, you know, YouTube content and whatnot. And I felt like it was very hard to find like a centralized place that had all the things that I needed to go through that process. So like me while there, there were a couple of nuggets on one platform or the other, I realized that a lot of the paid content that I paid for, a lot of it was mostly about sales methodology rather than like going through the interview process. I felt like every single course was getting into the bulk of like, how do you sell? Like, here's what you do once you get the job. But in reality, it's like, well, before you get the job, you actually have to like land interviews. You have to crush those interviews. You have to impress sales managers, recruiters and whatnot. So like that entire process is completely distant from, you know, doing a good job on that interview process. And so that, that got us thinking, like there's a lot of people out there that have a hard time breaking into tech. And in reality, it doesn't have to be that hard. Like I see a lot of patterns for top candidates, top performers, and they go through the interview process in a very, very similar fashion. So that got us thinking like, why don't we just take some of the things that we've used, that we've applied to the interview process and then just replicate it. And so we've obviously had a lot of good success. Um, we've had a lot of great, amazing students like go through this process at this point. It's been proven successful and it's awesome to see. And the way those students find success is, is not just by you know, diving deep into the sales methodology, like yes, we've included you know, essential entry level sales skills to have and whatnot, but I think where they're finding the most success and, and what people have kind of, have kind of told us is you know, we teach them everything from like revamping their resume, from you know, finding the best companies in tech sales. That's a whole other part of the process is making sure that you're setting yourself up for success because there's a million tech sales companies out there, right? But it's also about like, how do you pick the right company? At the end of the day, like sales is a performance-based role. Like you're evaluated directly on how much pipeline you generate, how many opportunities you create, how, you, how well you support your reps by meetings and whatnot. And so it comes down to how do you find a company that sets yourself up for career growth? Right? So that you're not just an SDR, that you're not just uh, an entry level role for like five years. You want to make sure that you can get to the upper echelons of being an account executive, of being an enterprise, being in you know, globals and whatnot. Like those are the levels that most people strive for, but fail to kind of think about as they're going through that interview process. In reality, like your career starts at that, at that point where you're evaluating, you're looking for companies. And so we put a strong emphasis on also finding the right companies in the first place. And another thing that we do is we also help you with your LinkedIn, your resume, everything when it comes to the interview process, right? To getting those opportunities in the first place. We also help you with, you know, making sure that you can perform on like cold call practices or interviews or exercises and whatnot. Um, whether that's sending emails, whether that's doing a demo, discovery call, like we've included it all. But another thing that I found to be lacking across the entire landscape was just simple one-on-one -on -one support. Like, support and live direct access to the people that are teaching you, right? Like you're investing in these people because of their expertise, because of the track record and tenure that they, that they have. And so that's something that we really wanted to emphasize in Tech Sales Ascension. We wanted to make sure that all of our students had direct access to us. Even though we, we only have like one or two weekly live calls a week, we, we're always available. Like we have a live chat, we've got a community where people are super active. We try to make this as accessible as possible. We want to make sure that all of our students feel supported every single step throughout that process. I think that's the biggest differentiator to what we've built here and what we're trying to aspire to be different for is making sure that our students don't just have us like 
once a week for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Like we're always there, we're there to help, we're there to make sure that you guys get into good companies, that you're crushing the interviews, and that you know, get some really, really good job offers and that you feel happy and content you know, at the end of the day. And these are all great points and really important to the way we structure the program. I also don't wanna overstate or overlook the amount of content that we have. Because to Chris's point, we focus a lot on the interviews where maybe we felt a lot of people did not, but also we have cold calls, cold email scripts, not just from me, not just from Chris, but numerous top performing reps from public tech companies that have all won awards. So you get access to all of their email scripts, all of their cold call scripts. These are things students have told us they have copy pasted in interviews and gotten job offers. And it's been a huge key to the success along with everything that Chris has mentioned. These are just a few of the things that we bring to the table in addition to the perspective on highly technical sales. We are actively in the industry. We are actively updating the course as well. As we learn new things, we're putting new information in, bringing new perspectives all the time. So with that being said, I wanna transition over again. If you're considering a career in tech sales, considering tech sales ascension to learn that skill set, we're gonna give you a look like if you're in the course and show you how you access the modules, how you interact with the community, and also interact with us directly via messaging and our live calls. All right, guys. So in this video, I wanna go over an overview of tech sales ascension, give you a holistic view of everything there is inside of the course, what you're gonna be getting access to, the different levels of supports, and also the different types of content that we have in here. Okay, so jumping into it, we're on the homepage right now. Um, consider this like your holistic view of everything that's going on inside of the course. And so you've got a little bit of a timeline here, you've got upcoming events here, you've got trending posts over here. But what I really wanna focus on is Tech Sales Ascension itself, right? So jumping into the academy, um, you've obviously got 47 lessons in here, we've got nine sections. I will dive deeper into what the various different sections are and what they entail. But what I wanna focus on first is giving you guys an overview of the entire course. So jumping into the support, we've got weekly live Q&As with all of our students. And so this is basically your time to come in and ask myself and Eric, whatever question that you have, we go over examples, resumes, um, questions, concerns, challenges, successes, like with you live on that call. So typically these calls actually run up to, it only says an hour here, but we typically run them up to two hours just to make sure that everybody gets the clarification that they need and everybody feels like they're supported every single step of the way. Another space that we've gotten here is share your wins. And so this is a space dedicated to, you know, students who are seeing success, who wanna celebrate those little wins or even big wins. Like in this case, we've got Benjamin. Um, he has his first offer and he's got nine interviews completed this week. So super, super cool stuff um, and, and kudos to Benjamin. But really the reason why we made this in the first place was because breaking into tech sales can be daunting if you're going at it by yourself. Right. So yes, there are going to be struggles along the way and there are going to be obstacles that you have to get through. But I think celebrating those little wins that you have or even big wins is, is super, super vital. Right. And so we've given you that support system in here to where you can come in, share those wins. And if you're still breaking through, like if you're if you're at the early stages where you're still learning, well, you can come in here and you can kind of look at what are other people doing successfully? Like what have brought them success? Like how are they seeing results? And you can emulate some of that success, too. So super cool stuff, and again, kudos to, to Benjamin for his first offer, and, and nine interviews completed this week. That's, that's, that's amazing, cool stuff. Um, next thing we've got is a lounge, and so this is kind of a live chat. Uh, myself and Eric are typically available in here uh, most of the day, and so we try to get back to our students virtually instantly, um, or whenever we have time. Obviously, we're, we're busy, we've got our own schedules, but we do make it an effort to come in here and make sure that you guys have support, even outside of the weekly live Q&As, so that Every, anytime that you have a question, they have a concern or whatever, you don't have to wait for that weekly live Q&A. You can just jump in here with your question or if you want to talk and you know maybe get um, other people's perspectives or feedback on resumes or whatnot, this is a great place to post those things as well. You can see um, Chris is asking some questions um, and Eric is already in here kind of bouncing off of him and, and explaining. You know, it's super cool stuff. Like we, we try to make sure that you guys are supported every single step of the way. So cool little, cool little feature in here inside of the platform. Um, we also have a community. And so think about this as a, as a forum of a sort. And so this is where you can post, you know, whatever questions that you have. And it's more of a, of a post format. So here, Jake posted his resume. Um, and so he's looking for some feedback. You can see Eric is already in here um, suggesting edits or a couple of thoughts. So super cool stuff. We also post the 
you know, the weekly live Q&As that we have in here. So here you can see um, an awesome session with some of our students. And so after every single Q&A, if you can't make the session, we are going to post the recording of it in here. So if you do want to go back in and, and, and rewatch it or watch it on 2x speed and just kind of, you know, storm through it, we do have that, that feature as well. And we also post the questions in here. So you can post your questions ahead of time to make sure that we cover them on the call. Um, you can see there's a lot of cool you know, discussion in here. You can see Benjamin talking about using ChatGPT to make a cold calling script. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Again, you know, going back to making sure that you guys have a support system, that you have a community. I know that several students have, have connected with each other in here, have networked, and that they're actually going through this process together now, which is super, super cool to see. And then last but not least, we've also got a practice with peers section. And so this is a section dedicated to our students to kind of network with each other, to connect with each other to practice, you know, anything throughout the interview process, regardless of whether that's um, cold call exercises or, or scripts, you know, preparing for scripts for interviews, um, doing research, um, just navigating, you know, basic interview questions, anything that's really related to breaking into tech sales or, or navigating that interview process can really be done in here in an intersection with, uh, with the other students. So super, super cool. We've got a couple students already kind of setting some stuff up. So it's awesome to see. But now I do want to jump back into the academy here. This is most likely going to be um, what you're most interested in. If you're if you're on the fence or if you're thinking about breaking into tech sales, you obviously want to make sure that whatever it is that you're enrolling into, whatever course or platform or boot camp or training, that it's actually relatable to you and your specific situation, right? So we wanted to give you this holistic view of everything that you're getting from a content perspective inside of the course. So obviously we've got a little bit of a welcome section here, pretty simple stuff. Um, the first thing that we dive into is kind of understanding tech sales in the SDR role. So, you know, what is an SDR? Um, where does an SDR fit into the sales org structure? What are the daily activities of an SDR? You know, the, the terminology that might be good to know in sales or in tech sales in particular, and also just what makes a good tech sales company and the sales career trajectory, right? So, like, where can you see yourself a year or two years from now? Like, it's not necessarily always just about breaking in. It's also about breaking in in a way that is sustainable and conducive to seeing that career growth over one, two, three years, right? Section two is talking about the essential entry-level skills. And so this is probably gonna be the, the biggest bulk uh, of the entire course. You're gonna see a lot of you know, insights into, this is actually a day in the life of an SDR at the time of, of me recording this specific video. I, I was an SDR and I was a top performer at a public tech leading company. And I'm actually running you through my, my specific schedule. So you actually get a live you know, one-to-one -one view of exactly what the day in the life of an SDR looks like. Um, we also talk about what makes a top performing SDR, what are some of the things that you can anchor on to during an interview process. We talk about the entire SDR interview process, so what you can expect. Um, we go through cold call fundamentals. We go, we go through um, a custom cold calling script. We walk you through it. We obviously give you, you know, I'll just go ahead and click on it. Um, I'm kind of cheating here, giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek, but these are some of the, the resources that you can expect inside of inside of the course. So we, we've pretty much tailored, you know, a very, very um, deep dive into everything that you need. So this is literally a cold calling script that walks you through everything. Um, we, we always emphasize making these things your own. So meanwhile, we do provide you with the base framework and you can just take that and, and replicate it. We always suggest and, and give you guys guardrails to make these things your own so that you can crush the interview processes. Uh, but jumping back into it, I do have to jump out of here. Um, let's jump back into the course. Jumping back into uh, section two here, um, we also go through real, real cold calls from Eric. So a, a real live cold call from Eric, actually calling one of his prospects at one of his past companies. Um, we take you through email templates. So you know our top performing emails, the emails that we use to break into tech sales, and the emails that we got a lot of kudos on. Um, so these are actually emails that got us through the process in the first place. These are these are proven emails to work at some of the biggest companies in the world. Um, we also walk you through the sales tools. So you know the various different tools that tech sales SDRs are going to be using in their day to day. So we don't put too much of an emphasis on this. There's a lot of courses out there that dive into this and spend you know 30, 40, even like two hours or three hours diving into the CRMs and whatnot. That's not necessary. Um, you know, you're breaking in, you're not expected to know any of these things. So we give you kind of a high level overview of what the tools do and, and, and essentially like give you an understanding so that you can reference them during those interviews if they ask, right? Or if you want to put them in your resume. 
Um, section three is all about resume and LinkedIn enrichment. So here we talk about like how do you optimize your LinkedIn? How do you optimize your resume? We also give you our specific STR resumes, that the, the resumes that got us into some of the biggest companies in the world that got us offers, um, like even above six figures. So these are proven SDR resumes that you can use. Obviously, our background is gonna be different, but it is great for emulation and just for some inspiration as well. Section four is all about finding and selecting top tier tech sales companies and jobs. And so one thing that we wanted to put a strong emphasis on is not just getting you guys into tech sales, but also make sh making sure that you guys get into a good sales organization, right? Like that matters a lot more than you think. Breaking into tech sales at just an average company is not a hard task to do. But breaking into a good company in tech sales is going to be something that requires effort. It requires for you to have the right resources at your hands. Um, it requires for you to use, use the right websites and the right research, right? So we really, really go deep into that. We talk about how to find the best sales organizations, um, the, the, the advantages and disadvantages of working for a startup in a large corporation, you know, what to look for whenever you're evaluating a sales organization, and where you can find that data as well. Right. We talk about red flags and we also kind of have you jumping into an exercise here. So creating an initial list of companies. Uh, next section, which is arguably going to be one of the most important ones, is going to be landing interviews. So this is going to be where you're going to be taking a lot of action. But we talk about the mindset to have when you're trying to land interviews. Um, we talk about you know how to quickly modify your resume to match a job listing. We talk about using AI to research companies to optimize your resume. Like as you're going through this process, you might be having 10 15 different companies in the loop at once. So you can't do in-depth research for every single one of those companies. You've got to make it scalable, right? And so using AI is, is, is a very, very cool, neat feature that we, we actually realized earlier this year that you can use to minimize that process entirely. We also talk about manually researching your company. So if you do have a company that you're really, really set on and you want to go above and beyond for, then we also talk about like how do you find the best information you know, if you're taking a more manual approach, so if you're not using ChatGPT or AI, um, you can use these specific methods in here to get more information. We also talk about how to effectively apply to sales roles and position yourself as a top candidate from the very beginning. And so you can see like the cool part here is you're not just getting one perspective, you're actually getting two people's perspectives, sometimes even three, sometimes four people's perspective, right? And that's what we really want to emphasize with this course is it's not just one person right that, that that's telling you these things that's teaching you these things these are people and these aren't just people these are top performers at some of the biggest companies in the world telling you their perspective of how to do these things and it's up to you who you choose to emulate from who you choose to to take from and and, and make it your own right so in this case you've got obviously my my methodology in here where you've got ian's methodology in here um we also have kind of an important recap obviously this is a pretty big uh pretty big section so we want to make sure that there's there's specific notions that you keep in mind as you're going through that process. This is going to be a very, very important section to, to rewatch and, and to go through continuously as you're going through that interview process. And then section six is obviously crushing the interview process. So once you have those interviews in hand, you want to make sure that you can actually navigate that process and that you can crush it, right? So you want to make sure that you know you know how to act on those interviews. Like there, there is a standard interview behavior that's expected of, uh, of, of top candidates. So that's something that we really emphasize. There are specific answers that you can say to common tech sales interview questions that are gonna pop up more frequently than not. So we add those in there so you can emulate those, make them your own. Um, we also talk about the best, qua the, can't even talk, the best questions to ask during interviews, right? So again, I don't wanna to get too deep into the course and the, the actual content itself. I wanna talk more about like the, the high level overview, but during that interview process, you will be expected to ask strong questions right to show that you have deep domain expertise that you've done your homework that you know that you've basically done your due diligence and so asking questions is a really really strong way to to set yourself apart from other people um, we also have an interview objection handling list so in the event that you're coming in with very little experience maybe you don't even have a college degree um, we actually just had somebody land um, an awesome offer at one of the biggest companies in tech sales without a degree or anything at all and so using you know, this specific objection handling list can help you get over some of those hurdles if they do come up during the interview process, right? So having a, a framework that you can rely on, that you can go back to and that you can look at to overcome some of those expected objections, depending on 
you know, maybe you've had two years out of the job market, maybe you don't have a degree at all, uh, maybe you're pivoting entirely from one career to another. Well, having these, uh, having this objection handling list is gonna help you go really, really. Um, section seven is basically a fully recreated interview process. So this is an A to Z recreated interview process um, with myself, Eric, and Ian. So we walk through basically different scenarios. So, you know, if you're going through a recruiter interview for those that are changing careers, if you're going through a recruiter interview for new grads, then we talk about like a sales manager interview. You can see these are pretty long. So these are literally one-to-one -one copies of what you can expect as you're jumping into this process. So watching these is going to give you like an exact expectation of what you can, or what you're about to go into. Um, we talk about a quick discovery call overview, right? We talk about the discovery role play interview. Uh, we talk about various different exercises, you know, the Q and A's, the sales manager interview Q and A. So like, as you're getting into those sections where you're asking questions and you know, whatnot, these are great things to look at as well. Like to kind of get a better feel for what it is that you're going into exactly. And then section eight, obviously um, reserved for the people that just absolutely crush it. Obviously that's our aspiration for every single person that comes through this, but once you get into that position, it's important not to get too content. They're never gonna love you more than they do in that specific moment. So we give you all the necessary tools as to how you can negotiate for a higher pay. But that's it for an overview. Um, if you're still here at this point and you've watched all the way throughout, I do appreciate your time. Um, thank you so much for your interest. And obviously we look forward to hopefully seeing you on the inside. Much love guys.